Welcome to Press Pass TV News. Today we have intriguing stories for you about police brutality, global warming, and Wi-Fi madness. Yes, we sure do, Williams. William, let's first talk about police brutality. I agree, Jerry Jr. 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 It seems like police are never running out of ammo because their bullets are endlessly being fired at black people. That's true, William, but remember, some cops are using their bare hands like serial killers to the point where their victims are yelling, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Maybe the police should just put themselves in handcuffs. Indeed, cops should have dark guns and put their crooks to bed instead of putting their crooks in coffins. I believe you are correct. Maybe you should take care of that. I sure will, Jerry. But now onto the real story. A black man was killed in Texas last night at 11 p.m. for being black in a black car and in a black outfit. And the man was shot by a white police officer named James Torchman. According to the report we have here, it says when the officer approached the car, he wasn't able to see who was in it because according to the officer, it was too black in there to see. So he opened fire not knowing that he was shooting a black man. This is just another case of driving while black. It sort of reminds me of a comic I read last night. Can we put that up? <laughs> no, that was a funny one. What a tragedy, but now on to our next story. Now this is certainly something people care more about than black people dying. It's called Wi-Fi. The president of the American Heart Association has recommended to limit America's Wi-Fi and media usage to only 23.5 hours a day. Due to how obese Americans are today, public backlash has been so fierce, and we have footage of the chaos on the streets. Now that is a spine-chilling video, Jerry. It's crazy how just a suggestion of limiting Wi-Fi can create an orgy of crime. Now on to our last story. Many deaths have been occurring based off global warming. I know it's crazy how putting smoke in the air, polluting, and using fossil fuels can create more natural disasters. Yesterday, a couple in their mid-twenties were crushed by an iceberg due to climate change. And Mexico? Mexico? Let me read that over. It says Mexico, boss. What is an iceberg doing in the hottest place in the world? See, we make things like this happen because of our stupidity. And as a matter of fact, I think as we speak, there's an unexpected tornado happening outside. Thank you, America. See, folks, this is why you should keep watching the news, because we put our lives on the line to protect your idiotic ones. That is completely true, Jerry Jr., Jr., Jr. That's why I'm going to step outside and analyze the tornado. You do that, William Squilliam. He's a true hero. OK, I'm about to take you guys outside. We're going to see this tornado. Look at this tornado, everybody. This is crazy massive. Got it. Got it. All right? Got it. You guys need to bring that booty inside, and I'm going to go back inside. Oh my god, how was it out there? I think everyone should stay in their homes. My apple! No! Ah!